Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy Navratri first of all. Let's create this stunning gorgeous festive makeup look. First thing, this is a very long lasting makeup look for your festive seasons, especially during the Navratri nights. So, first thing I've applied a toner, next thing I'm applying a moisturizer. This is from Minimalist and I'm massaging that really well onto my skin. I'm going to leave this moisturizer around 5 minutes on my skin. and then i'm following up with the sunscreen sunscreen is compulsory do not miss on your sunscreen guys next i'm just applying uh, i mean i'm just filling my eyebrows for which i'm using the insight cosmetics eyebrow pencil this has become one of my favorite pencils now and this is super affordable uh, i'm using in the shade dark brown so i'm just filling in my eyebrows in the areas where i feel there are gaps now on the other side i'm doing the same thing first i'm just giving it a nice shape and then i'm filling in my eyebrows for concealer i'm using this lacme concealer this is a prime plus matte finish concealer this concealer is suitable for oily to normal skin type and it has medium coverage so it's a great concealer you guys i just got it on a sale good sale on amazon so The sale is still on. If you wanna purchase, you can still check the description. Next up, I got this cute little pack translucent powder. This is so cute and it's so affordable. So I got a mini pack translucent powder. This is a stunning powder. I just love this powder so much. Next up, I'm using this Makeup Revolution palette and I'm picking up that beautiful light peachy shade, applying that as a transition color. Now for eye makeup I just wanted to keep the eye makeup pretty simple with just a pop of color okay so I'm picking up this copperish shine and applying it all over my eyelids all right I just apply my shimmers with the help of my finger because they perform better with the help of a finger because they perform very better with the help of a finger and all the palettes from makeup revolution are stunning so if you were planning to check it out you can next i'm picking up this blue heaven kajal this is a blue color kajal now um i can say according to the price point the kajal is not that bad it's actually uh, like very medium sort of pigmented it's not highly pigmented and it is not creamy uh the product is a little struggle to work on with uh, but after 2 to 3 layers of application it did look very good on my eyelids so all i would say is that you can go ahead with uh, the kajal but the pigmentation is something you can build it up and you will not get it in one single stroke like all the other kajals i have mentioned So yeah. Once I'm done with that, I'm just going to pick up a angle brush and I just picked a little bit of blue kajal on this brush and I'm just trying to pull out a wing just like that. Okay, so once I'm done with that, I'm going to apply the same kajal in my waterline. Again, I went at least like 7 to 8 strokes generally. If it's a good kajal, you can go with two to three strokes, but this one took me at least seven to eight strokes. But you can see the outcome is not bad. That means you can work with the product, but the only thing is, uh, you will have to layer it up multiple times. Now I'm not wearing any false lashes, so I've just curled up my lashes and applying the Sugar Cosmetics mascara. This is a very good mascara, and the price range is also nice. I'll show you guys. the before and after so you guys can check it out what the mascara looks like it's just one coat and it's giving me beautiful amount of volume so you can go in two to three layers okay uh, so for primer i'm using the faces canada primer and to color correct my face today i'm going to use a different product that is i'm going to pick up the sugar cosmetics cream blush as my corrector that's because i wasn't able to find any of my characters on this day so uh, you can use actually any orange lipstick or blush as your character so that's what i'm doing 
and i'm just gonna start blending this out now i try my best not to make faces you guys i try my best while blending the product or application of the product not to make faces but then i just end up doing it i just need some more time maybe to get used to the camera all right for foundation i'm using this lacme 925 foundation and this foundation is definitely one uh, shade lighter than my skin tone but that's not a problem because i'm going to fix it so i'm just going to blend this out with the help of a beauty blender this is from inside cosmetics now talking about the foundation it's going to give you that perfect matte finish if you are from a oily skin then this foundation is going to change the makeup base and like the makeup game for you so you need to check this foundation out it's a gorgeous gorgeous foundation you guys so you can check the foundation is giving me nice medium sort of a coverage now it's time for concealer now like i told you the foundation was like a shade lighter to my skin tone so i went in with a skin tone concealer so the concealer is again from lacme in the shade coco and i'm applying it under my eyes around my mouth area on the forehead and on the tip of my nose now i'm going to blend everything into place like so okay once i'm done with this I'm just gonna uh, start contouring my face. Now talking about the concealer again, it's medium coverage and it's a stunning concealer. To contour, I am picking up the Sugar Cosmetic Contour Blush Highlight Palette, and I'm just picking up that beautiful contour shade. I'm just contouring my face. This contour blush highlight palette will give you absolutely a natural finish it's not like super pigmented or something if you're looking for contour blush highlights which are like absolutely for beginners and gives you very slight amount of coverage this is the contour blush highlight palette you should go for okay once i'm done with that i'm going to pick up the blush from the same palette and i'm just applying the blush the color of the blush is absolutely gorgeous and stunning okay i did contour my nose guys i just picked up a small brush and i'm just going to contour my nose now yeah once i'm done with this i'm going to start applying my blush this is such a stunning blush it's in a beautiful pink color so i'm just going to pat that blush onto my skin now i went in a little extra with the blush because my eye makeup was a little subtle and i wanted a little more color on my face okay so once i'm done with that it's time to apply highlighter even the highlighter in this is not very chunky or it wouldn't make your face extremely glowy and all of that this highlighter is perfect for people with oily skin who wants that very minimal amount of glow on their face so yeah Okay so once I'm done with this now finally I'm just going to set my entire face with the pack mini translucent powder this powder is going to make our uh, makeup very long lasting and your makeup is not going to move throughout the day also all the uh, foundation and concealer that I've applied are matte finish so yeah there's going to be a beautiful amount of matte finish on your face Okay so once I'm done with this now it's time to apply lipstick so for a lipstick I'm going to use the pack mini lipstick I'm going to make a video on this very soon so I'm just picking up this gorgeous pack mini lipstick in the shade love portion and I'm just applying this lipstick just uh I did all the makeup according to my blouse so that it can match my blouse and I've just added a little bit of jewelry and a black bindi which i'm obsessed with that's it you guys if you did like the video then do subscribe to my channel and i'm coming up with more such videos until then take care